Hi everyone, welcome back to Living a Balanced Life with Julio. So once again, um, thank you for those that have been supporting my channel and supporting what I've been doing for the past couple of years. For those that don't know me, my name is Julia Dopoku. I'm a registered nurse, certified diabetes educator, bariatric educator, a mental health and wellness um, educator. So I verse in multiple chronic illness management, um, disease prevention and promotion. And today I've been asked a lot of questions about um, how to improve um, our overall health. There's a lot of questions that's been asked about magnesium and is magnesium important and why should you take magnesium if you're not getting it through your diet so that's what we're going to talk about today magnesium the benefits how you can supplement it through your diet and if you are not getting enough through your diet what you take to help boost your magnesium level because it's, it's an essential mineral that our body needs for a lot of function almost every cell in our body need magnesium so we'll talk about magnesium the benefit and how you can use this as a way to improve your, your sleep your mood your overall health okay so if you're interested stay tuned Exclusive. So most people ask me, um, I'm hearing a lot about magnesium. So what even is magnesium? So magnesium is one of the minerals that essential minerals that our body needs. Our body needs it for many, many, many functions. Um, there's over 600 functions that our body need magnesium to be able to, um, to perform. So if your body is low in magnesium, once again, your body will tell you what's happening. So there will be symptoms that shows you that um, you're low in magnesium. Sometimes some of these symptoms, because there are other health conditions that you may have, it might be hard to differentiate, but there's clear signs if you have low magnesium. And if you have low magnesium, it's going to affect every aspect of your life, from your mood to everything else, to your muscle movement, to your bone movement, all of that, right? So it's important that we get these essential minerals. Of course, the best way to get it is through nutrition, right? I want you to eat a balanced meal, eat healthy, um, to get all your vitamins and minerals. But if for whatever reason you're not able to get enough through your diet, that's when you need to supplement magnesium. So we'll talk about the amount that's needed, the type of magnesium that your body can absorb that can help you um, improve your overall health and then how your body tells you if you're low in magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that is important for normal bone structure in the body. People get magnesium from their diet, but sometimes, like I said earlier, supplement might be needed because you may be low in magnesium. Low magnesium level in the body have been linked to diseases such as osteoporosis, high blood pressure, clogged arteries, so um, high cholesterol, heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. So having low magnesium is very significant. So some of the signs or some of the ways our body tells us that we are low in magnesium is that we, of course, may have high blood pressure, and heart disease, um, other nutrition deficiency, including vitamin K, vitamin B1, calcium, potassium, or could be low because magnesium is low. Um, people that get lots of migraine, that could be a sign of low magnesium. Mental health issues and mood swings. So anxiety, um, feeling a little depressed, these all could be linked to uh, low magnesium. Um, trouble sleeping, insomnia. So if you're having a hard time sleeping, your magnesium level may be low. Um, for one of the best um, benefit of taking magnesium is improve sleep and improve relaxation, improve anxiety. So it's very essential that we make sure that we are supplementing or eating foods that are high enough in magnesium to help our body. So trouble sleeping and insomnia is one of the signs of low magnesium. Restless leg syndrome is also one of the signs of low magnesium. Osteoporosis, um, recurrent bacteria or fungal infection could be a sign. Tooth decay could be a sign of low magnesium. Um, muscle weakness and cramping could be a sign of low magnesium and impotence. So for male could be a sign of low magnesium. So it's important that whenever, once again, that, like I always say, pay attention to how you feel, how you're doing. And whenever you feel off, check in to see what's happening. So these are some of the ways that your body tells you that you could be low in magnesium. Okay, so 
how do you get magnesium magnesium you can get it through food or you can supplement so magnesium is a mineral that is naturally occurring in food so it's in most of the foods that we eat so which is a good thing because our body needs it we need it for so many functions so if your magnesium level is low you can supplement but there are foods that you can eat to boost your magnesium level most nuts and seeds are high in magnesium so think of magnesium and fiber together any food that's high in fiber will also be um, relatively high in uh, magnesium so eating a balanced meal choosing healthier grains and starches nuts and seeds lagoons lentils these are all high fiber foods that will have magnesium in them vegetables almost all vegetables um, have magnesium especially the leafy green vegetables have a lot of magnesium so you want to make sure that you're including things like spinach broccoli all of that will help boost your magnesium level once again nuts and seeds any food high in fiber will have magnesium so in the nuts family you have almonds um, roasted almonds cashew flax seed is very high uh, magnesium peanuts is high in magnesium uh, pumpkin seeds chia seeds is very high in magnesium so if you're including these healthy nuts and seeds into your diet there's a, a chance that you will boost your magnesium level and it will help improve the magnesium deficiency right many fruits uh, high in magnesium once again any food that's high in fiber will also be high in magnesium so um, fruits like avocado has about 58 milligrams of magnesium banana one medium banana can give you about 32 milligram of magnesium papaya blueberries so all the fruits that are high in fiber will have high magnesium level vegetables leafy dark green vegetables will give you ample amount of uh, magnesium in your diet right so whenever you're eating just make sure you're balancing your meal you have healthy greens and starches you have your fruit and any fruit that you can eat with the skin on do so because it will boost the fiber content and it's also good for magnesium because everything works uh, in a balance right uh, make sure that you're having vegetables at least lunch and dinner meal you're adding vegetables uh, make sure that you are choosing um, um, the nuts and seeds so, so for the protein foods you're choosing the nuts and seeds lentils lagoons of course meat there's nothing wrong with meat but you know we're talking about magnesium so you if you want to boost your magnesium amount then you need to include all the plant protein into your diet because they're high in fiber and high in magnesium it will help lower blood pressure cholesterol improve your heart health improve your mood because that's what magnesium is there to do improve your mood uh, relax the muscle relax the brain so anxiety goes down therefore helps improve sleep right so you're able to sleep so if you're having a hard time with insomnia where you lay down to sleep you can't sleep including magnesium food high in magnesium will help you and if you cannot consume all that food to get that amount the recommended amount is about 310 to 420 milligram per day so if you can get that through your diet that's when supplement comes in but when you supplement for magnesium you want to make sure that you're getting the best kind that your body can absorb because there's different kinds of magnesium out there but you want the best one that your body can absorb so it can go into your system so you can use it to improve your overall health boost your immune system and improve and give you all the benefit of it right so the best magnesium to take is magnesium glycinate and this is the type that your body can absorb easily and can be used to do all the vital functions that it needs to do so it's like it's showing on my screen now this type of magnesium your body can absorb there are some there's lots out there your body cannot absorb it, right so you want to make sure that you're picking something that your body can um, actually take in and use it so this is the type of magnesium if you want to supplement um, you can go ahead usually it comes in 200 milligrams and taking once a day is good enough if you're eating a balanced meal with it then you can meet your um, your target for magnesium because once again it's very essential that we make sure we're meeting the level of the magnesium because if not our whole body suffers right from head to toe mental health to physical health um, will suffer so let's make sure that we're taking enough magnesium and eating a balanced meal once again everything we do is a balance so eating a balanced meal supplementing about 200 milligrams per day of um, magnesium will help boost um, your your immune system help you improve your overall health so in terms of the dosage of magnesium that's needed daily will depend on your age and your health condition right but generally um, the maximum recommendation dose for meals about 420 milligram 
and for female anywhere about that or uh, 350 milligrams so once again you have to be mindful of your age and condition that you may have but roughly staying between the 350 to 420 range is um, good enough to supplement um, for you to get all the benefit of having enough magnesium to improve your overall health yes so if you have diabetes make sure that you are um, eating a balanced meal to get the uh, amount of magnesium that your body needs to function because it will help improve insulin resistance meaning your blood sugar will become much much better magnesium can also help with pms so for us women that when they are on our period you go through um, the pms symptoms pain cramps and uh, mood swings uh, irritability having enough magnesium can help with that so magnesium is essential make sure you're getting enough to help you maintain your um, the balance in your body from head to toe. So until next time, um, send in your questions. I'll try my best to answer them um, and um, give you all the tips that you need to um, stay in charge of your health and live a healthy, balanced life. So take care and stay safe. Who's it?